Hello everybody, Louis here. Let's talk C Sharp. So the first thing now that you've installed Visual Studio is running Visual Studio. So let's do that. It's actually the very first time I'm opening Visual Studio. Um, for you, it may ask for you to log in with your Microsoft account. Uh, so if that's the case, uh, if you don't have one, create one, it's free. If you already have one you can use that um, so for this uh, for this video let's just con say continue without code on this window and there we go we're in Visual Studio awesome uh, so the first thing that I'm gonna do here because I'm a real programmer and that's how you know that you're a real programmer you have to use the dark mode so for that <laughs> of course that's a joke but uh, for that you go under tools and options in the general tab, you see color theme. Let's change that to dark. And that's how you know you're an alpha programmer. There you go. Looks a lot better now. So what do we have to do if you want to create a new project? So let's take a look at that. So the first thing we're going to do is go to File, New, Project. And from here, Visual Studio is going to show us all possible project options that we have and there are so many of them so if you're a .NET person you want to create a, a web application or a desktop application you know all sorts of different projects um, are created through here for the purposes of this course we are going to do uh, console applications all right uh, don't be fooled however because Console applications can be very powerful, and I've seen very, very powerful console applications, many of them. So that's what we're going to do. So in the very first page, you're going to see that we have this option here, console app.net core. Um, there is a lot of differences between the .NET framework and .NET core, all right? But since this is an introduction to C Sharp, there's actually no difference uh, for the things that we are going to be doing, okay? So for that reason, I'm going to select console app.net core, and I'm gonna say next. So what I'm gonna do here is give my project a name, and I'm gonna call it Hello World. Notice that I'm using Pascal case here, okay? And I'm able to select the location where my project's going to be. So I can just leave it at that as that, or I can save it anywhere I want in my file system. That's what I'm going to do because I'm very particular about these things. Okay, uh, and I'm just going to select this folder. So now that I've changed the location where my project will be saved, I can just say create. The first time you do it, it takes a little while. And there you go. I'm ready. I'm all set and I have everything I need in order to write C-sharp code. So I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.